What's up guys, welcome back to Mind the Fence. I am your host Aaron and today we're going to be checking out the single Brick Wall by the band A Day to Remember. A Day to Remember started about 2003. They're from Florida. They started out as like a metalcore band and now they're mostly just pop punk. They have six studio albums and Brick Wall is one of the singles being released off of their upcoming album in like 2021 called You're Welcome. And after listening to Brick Wall, I'm not really sure why I would be thanking them. Brick Wall is one of the most confusing songs I've heard in quite a while. It's like the band had no idea what to do with different riffs and drum patterns and just song ideas. So what they did is they just took three or four song ideas that they weren't really able to do anything with. So they just kind of crammed them all into one song and mixed it around differently, trying to piece it all together in between the tempo changes and just the different styles of music in this song it doesn't really make any sense at all a lot of people are saying oh it's just a prog song but still even then this is like barely like decent prog at that even the song starts off with very pretty guitar chords and a very basic pop punk drum pattern and the vocals i don't understand why they decided to use the vocal effect. It mainly just comes off sounding cheesy and try hard. And the chorus is just a build up going into a big two chord riff. And honestly, if the rest of the song had more energy and more life in it, those two chords might not sound that big or heavy. In fact, once it comes out of that chorus or I guess like post chorus thing and goes into verse two, it sounds horrible it's very awkward it doesn't flow well at all it sounds like they just didn't it sounds like the band messed up and they played the wrong thing almost and when we get to the second chorus it has now become very boring and repetitive they do the same exact thing they did in the first chorus just this time they repeat the chorus twice which is uh, super duper creative they don't change anything whatsoever and then once that riff comes around again it's lost all of its surprise. It's no longer like, whoa, this is really cool and out of nowhere. It's more like they're doing this again. They're not even going to change it. They're not even going to just change it a little bit. They're going to do the same damn thing again. And it doesn't help that when the outro comes along, they play it again. And for this time, it's a lot longer. I mean, it's just, I guess the way how it's all put together, it literally feels like they took two different two or three different songs and just found a way to make them work together even and make them work they really don't the entire song the verse the chorus the bridge everything is basically void of any life and soul so the only exciting part of the song is that heavy riff and when the exciting part of the song loses its surprise and becomes very lackluster after the first time you hear it i mean what do you got seriously after you listen you could listen to the first verse and the chorus and that riff and you basically got the whole song in fact you should probably stop there because it's only going to get worse or at least stop before the outro because seriously it is painful that riff is so it, it's already barely tolerable it's just down 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 and they cut off the first part and it's just down 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 for 30 freaking seconds for the outro 30 seconds it does that set a timer and every single second that goes by you get this loud obnoxious down down that's all it is for the outro that's what they do i can't express enough how painful that is and how hard it is to not want to just turn the song off i don't know what they were thinking when they produced this song other than just trying to create something that a seven-year-old can musically comprehend hoping to increase their fan base i mean even the lyrics are basically pointless and they don't really say anything especially in the bridge i mean it's there's not a whole lot there at all other than just really bad attempts at being catchy and normally a day to remember has terrific hooks even if you hate the song the hooks are solid, but this whole thing is just so piss poor. And while I admit I'm not a die hard a day to remember fan at all, I don't own any of their albums. It's been a while since I've actually gone out of my way to listen to their music. I've never really been that into them. But at the same time, I've never heard a song of theirs that I really don't like. I've heard something where I don't really care for it all that much, but at the same time, I'm like, I can see how somebody can enjoy this. I can see where this song could have a place in the world and somebody can enjoy it. And I just don't see that with Brick Wall. It just isn't there. There's just so many things 
with this song that don't make sense. And I feel like a lot of it has to do with zero direction and what they wanted to do with this song. It's like every single band member showed up and they all played something completely different and hoped it worked. And it just didn't. So with all that said, I got to give Brick Wall by A Day to Remember a 0.7 out of 5. And I'm probably going to regret saying this, but I want to know what you guys think. Go ahead and leave a comment below if you listen to Brick Wall. Let me know what you thought of it. If you haven't, I'm going to leave a link for it down in the description below. Go ahead and click on that. Hopefully you can make it through the whole thing and let me know what you would rate it. And if you enjoyed this review, don't forget to give it a like. If you got anything you want me to check out, let me know down in the comments and we'll throw it up on the whiteboard and we'll get you squared away. And if you do that, please don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon. That way you get notified when I do upload. That way you don't miss out, which happens very frequently where somebody leaves a request. I do the review, upload it, and they end up missing out. And that just makes me sad. And this coming up Sunday is my birthday, the big 3-2. So I'm going out of town, so I don't know if I'm going to be able to record a video for Request Wednesday and have it up in time. Hopefully I will. I'm not really in charge of my birthday shenanigans, so I'm not really sure where I'm going to be and how it's going to work. I believe we're getting to Air and B, so I think it might be cool if I'm able to film it there. I'll try my best to make that happen so we, you know, you guys don't have to go without it. And with that said, I hope you guys all have a good rest of your day or night whenever you happen to be watching this. Hope you're staying safe. And I will talk to you guys next time. I was trying to make it rely on my parents' fantasy.